Today we're going to be creating a layout using this kit that I received last October with my Craft with Heart subscription program. Let me show you what the original layout is supposed to look like. So you can see here they are all vertical photos. The instructions are simple and clear because everything comes right in your kit. When you open up your kit as it arrives, you'll be able to see that it comes with everything that you need. So you have background sheets, you have stickers, you have die cuts, and it even comes with the memory protectors. So everything's all inclusive in this kit and I'm going to show you how I changed it up just a little bit to fit the photos that I had. Here I have some photos of the very first farmhouse we lived in as a family and you can see here if we go back and look at what the original layout is supposed to look like they are all vertical photos. My photos are horizontal so I have to try to figure out how I'm going to make this fit with the design of the kit. When you receive your Craft with Heart kits, there's a chance you'll be facing the same dilemma. Your photos may not look exactly as shown. So I am going to add a few of the elements to my layout to get it started. And then we're going to add other little elements and scraps of paper that I have so you can see how I made the design of the kit and the elements of the kit work with the photos I had. So I'm starting with these stickers that comes with the kit and I want to add this border across the top. The design also shows that I'm supposed to add those green plaid borders but I'm going to hold off on those for a minute because I'm not sure how well they'll work with my design. Right now I'm placing the photos down onto the background page. I want to get a feel of this layout and how I want the photos placed and where I might want my journaling. I also have another photo of my boys playing where you can see the background. The kit comes with these photo mats and as you can see I'm using every little bit and piece cutting out die cuts from the centers of the mats which will be hidden right behind the photo. So you can use every little piece that you possibly can when you're embellishing these kits. And I'm also going to use these mats over here on the side. Since the original layout is vertical photos and mine are horizontal, I'm going to have to use these mats kind of in a different way. So I'm placing them vertically over on the right hand side and you'll see here in a minute how that's going to look with the other elements of my page. All of the colors and designs in the Craft with Heart kits match all of the papers that are in our current catalog. So this fall kit matched this fall Hawthorne paper. And I wanted some more texture and design, so I've cut a couple of bits and pieces from my scraps, which I usually do. I'm always grabbing from my scrap bin. So I have this hexagon piece that's going on the left and on the right to make it look like it's going to kind of continuously go across the page and then I'm also going to add a leaf pattern that's another scrap from the Hawthorne collection and that'll go behind my photo. I've pulled all the die cuts and stickers from the kit and I've used the original layout as a reference for their placement. Now I'm not sure this is where they're going to go but I do know that I do want to add these plaid sticker strips and I want to add them on the top and the bottom of that map type pattern. So I've just used my paper cutter and I cut those strips in half and then I'm going to stick them down above the border that I stuck down earlier and below that map like pattern. Off camera, I matted that photo in French vanilla just to give it a nice white border and help it become the focal point of the page. I'm gluing down each one of my papers and I decided that I wanted to tear the edge of that leaf paper. I like the distressed look of the whole layout and that torn edge just adds to that distressed look. I'm also going to distress the mat on this photo. I'm just running my fingernail along the edge, creating some little tears and curls. And with that white background, it's going to help my photo pop up off the page. I've chosen to mat two more photos in French vanilla and I've added some burlap ribbon across the bottom along with a torn edge. And these are going to go ahead and sit on the right side of my page. I'm going to continue that hexagon paper over here on the right so it looks like one continuous piece. 
And then I'm placing those photo mats that came with the kit vertically over on the right side. Now I'm framing this photo with one of our stitched rectangle frames. I really want this photo to pop off the page because it is the focal point photo. That photo didn't quite fit in the frame how I like, so I'm trimming up the photo and I want to make sure it's centered right in the center of that frame. And since I've trimmed the photo, I'm also going to have to trim that French vanilla mat I created earlier. And you'll see that the photo fits right inside the frame with a little bit of edge around it that just makes it the perfect focal point for this layout. I have all of the stickers that I have made unsticky with my anti-static bag, these leaves that I cut from the mats, and all of the little die cuts that came with a kit. So I'm trying to figure out where I want them all. According to the original layout, this compass goes over here on the left page below the title. But I really want it to highlight the focal point photo. So I'm going to put it over here on the right side of the page along with this enjoy the view title. Then I'm going to take this collection of leaf die cuts and I'm going to place them over here on the left side of the photo to help frame out this picture of my boys playing in the dirt. I was really struggling with the placement of this today sticker, so I decided to refer back to the original layout photo and realized that the thankful title goes over to the right quite a bit. So I did make this change to my layout and I like the look so much better than the way that I had it. I'm adding a few more elements to the page. Some came in the kit and some were from my scraps. And this orange star sticker was originally supposed to go on top of the compass, but I really didn't like that placement. So I've kind of laid it on the layout here, trying to figure out where it forms a visual triangle with the other orange elements. And I've decided to just leave it for now and determine if I really want to use that journaling box or if I just want to write down here under the photo, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. I do like this little date stamp at the base of the journaling box. So I'm going to slice it off and I'm going to place it on my layout as a way of recording the date of the photos. So I've placed all of my elements down that came with the kit and you can see I don't have this little tree. I can see where I punched it out but I must have misplaced it sometime as I was punching all the other elements out. But I really don't think I need it. If I do it'll go over here. Now I'm going to start adding each one of the embellishments to the page. I'm going to glue down the leaves behind the photo mat and add some loops of burlap ribbon for texture. Each one of the die cuts and stickers is going to be added to the page using some foam tape. I like the dimension that foam tape gives me on my scrapbook pages. I did decide to leave the compass over on the right page flat. I felt like the title and the stars and the circles were already dimensional and I felt like the compass should remain flush with the page. Now you can see here this leaf was added last minute. I needed some texture on that gray mat so I added a leaf and then I've got this little zip strip piece that says adventure ahead that was part of my scraps and the stars. So I pulled out some leftover hawthorn wood shapes. These did not come with the kit. These were leftover like some of the scraps I've used and I'm placing them down on the page. I like the look of the wood elements, especially if I have more of an outdoorsy page or a rustic page or like this one has some farm elements to it. So I'm just placing these onto the page trying to decide which elements I want to use and I've chosen the leaf and I've chosen that little hexagon star and another little hexagon to place down and I'm just going to glue them in place. I did make the decision that I am going to type up some journaling and place it over here on some vellum. But other than adding that, the layout's complete. So let's take a look again at what the original layout looks like. I did keep quite a few of these elements true to the kit so you can see the titles in the same place and I used the compass and I did put that enjoy the view over on the right side but quite a bit of my layout is substantially different compared to what the original kit was intended because it needed to match the photos that I had. So I just wanted to make sure that you knew how great these Craft with Heart subscription kits are and how easy it is to change them 
to match your own personal photos. I hope that you were inspired by today's layout and that you learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about the Craft with Heart scrapbook subscription, you can visit my website and click on the subscription tab and you'll be able to see all of the kits and the subscription programs that we have available. Please feel free to comment below if you have any questions. I hope you have a wonderful week and I can't wait to see what you create. Thank you.